Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you have an invalid value for the registry error for a JPEG, PNG file, etc. when viewing an image file. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing is first, I would suggest you guys make sure you have a backup of your photos saved somewhere. So if you have your photos folder on your computer, I would suggest having it saved on an external location or perhaps another folder somewhere on your computer because we are going to be resetting the photo app, which should not be directly affecting the photos. However, I would suggest you guys do create a backup of it just to be safe. And if you maybe use a different directory for your photos or pictures, that's obviously, you know, a different set of situation that you have to deal with. But generally that would probably be better. But we're gonna go ahead and to the hopeful resolution of this and you want to start by opening up the star menu. Type in apps and features. Best match, I'll come back with apps and features. Go ahead and left click on that. In the search this list field you want to go just click inside of it and type in photos and best match to go back on Microsoft Photos here go ahead and left click on that and then select advanced options so what we're going to do here is scroll down and you want to head down to close to the bottom not quite to the bottom but we're going to go select underneath reset the, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. This app said it won't be affected. So there's a reset section and there's a reset button. We're going to go ahead and select the repair button here. That's what we're going to try first. So I would suggest you guys try that here. And then I would attempt to open up the Photos app and see if that resolves a problem. And now there's a reset button underneath the reset section that still says that if the app isn't working right, reset it. The app will be reinstalled and reverted to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. You know, it's a little bit of a misleading statement. I've seen it go both ways, to be honest. I mean, I've read people, you know, accidentally delete photos doing this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I just would put that out there. That's why I mentioned making a backup if you can. Would suggest it. I mean, I really wouldn't have all my photos saved in one folder anyway. I think it's kind of crazy, to be honest with you. But um, to each their own. Um, we're going to go ahead and select Reset. And then this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preference and sign in details. Go ahead and select reset. Again, attempt to relaunch the application and see if that has resolved the problem. Next thing we're going to go try is, is to repair the Windows Store app. So we're going to go open up the start menu again and type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down underneath Get Up and Running and select Windows Update for solve problems of preventing you from updating Windows and select Run the Troubleshooter. And if it finds anything, I'd recommend just letting it go ahead and resolve it. One further thing you can try here if you're still having an issue would be to go ahead and just actually run an SFC scan to so a system file checker utility. And that would entail opening up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this command line window, you're going to type in SFC followed by a space. And then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to run this. It will take some, a few minutes to complete, so please be patient.
okay guys so once it's done with we'll just restarting your computer and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved with the photos app so pretty straightforward process guys I do hope that i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye